time. I'm so excited to get to see you today on camera. Oh, and I have, oh, oh, I have all of your friends here today. Oh, all your desk buddies are missing you something terribly. But they have joined us today for story time. Hmm, I wonder what animal we're going to read about today. Well, let's see. Could it be a dog? Mm, I don't think a dog. Maybe a pig. Mm, I'm not thinking a pig. Oh, oh, boy, there's a lot of cat books around. I think it's a cat. We know we love cats. Hmm, well, which one of these am I going to read? Bad Kitty? Mm, 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 not today. Hmm, am I going to read... <gasps> Someday when my cat can talk? Mm, 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 not that one either. Oh, I got it. Splat the cat. No, that's not it either, guys. Oh, wait a minute. <gasps> Ooh, this one looks like it's got a sour attitude. Hmm, maybe frustrated? Hmm, you know, pictures give us lots of information. I think this one looks like one I might have to read today. <gasps> oh, boys and girls, Mr. Puskins and Little Whiskers. Ooh, hmm. Pussycat, Pussycat, where have you been? Oh, oh here I am, Mr. Puskins and Little Whiskers. We're ready to hear about you today. <gasps> this is a story by Sam Lloyd. And boys and girls, I can't wait for you to hear it. And if you've already heard it, remember what we say. You can always learn something new. So here we go. Mr. Puskins and, oh, who is that again? Little Whiskers. All right, let's get started. Hmm, let's see, he's still looking a little bit irritated. Let's see why he's irritated. This is the story of a little girl called Emily and her dear cat, Mr. Puskins. Dum diddly dum dum do 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 sharing magic moments just us two. <sighs> they thought life could not get any better. Then one day, Emily announced that she had a fabulous surprise for Mr. Puskins. Oh my goodness, he was so excited. <gasps> Emily, she fetched a large cardboard box. Oh, 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 oh I just happened to have one. Right, right here. It says fragile. Oh, and it says fragile. Oh, be careful, Miss Anderson. It might break. Oh, Mr. Puskins is so excited. He can't wait to see what's inside. Boys and girls, don't you want to know what's in my box? Ooh! I might just have to take a little peek. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, but meow. Oh, did you hear that, boys and girls? Mr. Puskins, look at what you have. Oh, a kitten! Meow, 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 meow. Look at me. Oh dear, can we see Mr. Puskins' face right now? That would be no. I wonder what he's thinking. Come here, little whiskers. Come over here. Have a little seat. Let's, let's talk about Mr. Puskins and you and see what happens in the story. You better behave yourself. Don't you be naughty. Oh, this is Little Whiskers, said Emily. She has come to live with us. Oh, I can't wait. She is only a tiny little kitten, so we need to take very good care of her. I'm sure you two will be the best of friends, smiled Emily. So I'll just leave her right here to play some lovely games. Ooh. I think Mr. Whiskers is happy, but I'm not so sure about Mr. Puskins. Look at that little face. Uh-oh. Mr. Puskins needed to be alone. Mm, here comes the grumpiness. He was somewhat, oh, he was disappointed. Oh, and me. Mm, so sorry, Mr. Puskins. Oh, that was not a fabulous surprise. And mm, I'm certainly not in the mood, he thought, to play any kind of games. Little Whiskers wasn't in the mood for lovely games either. Get his tail. Ha. The pesky kitten took great delight in running all Mr. Puskin's special times. He ruined everything. She ruined telling time. Nee, 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 nee. Mm. She ruined meal time. Mm. She ruined play time. Oh my little whiskers, you are not 
naughty. And she ruined nap time. When Emily wasn't looking, Little Whiskers ruined everything. Mr. Puskins could bear it no longer. Something had to be done. So that evening, Mr. Puskins wrote a letter. To whom it may concern, I am displeased with my fabulous surprise. I find the kitten extremely irritating and wish to return her ASAP, which means as soon as possible. Yours fed uppingly, Mr. P. Tomorrow he would send it. <gasps> then Mr. Puskin settled down for a nice long nap. Suddenly, bam, bam, a hideous noise woke him up. He dashed to see what was going on. Come on, come on. Oh, it's me, Little Whiskers. Emily dashed in too, and who did she see? Now, do you think she saw Little Whiskers up here? I don't think so. I think she saw Mr. Puskins. Oh, Mr. Puskins, she gasped. You know better than to play such a terrible tune on this at this time of night. You might have woken little whiskers. She can't see me. I'm hiding behind this little music book. Emily banished Mr. Puskins outside. You need to think about what you've done wrong, she said. Out, 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 out. But Mr. Puskins hadn't done anything wrong. Look at those little tears. As the rain turned to snow, he thought about his cozy home. He reached up to the window to take a peek. That wretched kitten! She was already shook right there. Oh, I'm just sitting there by my fireplace, woo, basking in that heat. Oh, it feels so good. Mm -hmm. But Mr. Puskins was furious. But Little Whiskers, hmm, he really wasn't enjoying that fireside. She knew she had been behaving naughtily. Not Mr. Puskins. Oh, how she wished, how she wished there was a way she could make things all better. Hmm. Oh. Oh. There was a way I could make it better. You behave, little whiskers. Hmm. Oh, look what I'm doing. wasn't it? Meow, admitted the kitten. Mm. Emily hurried outside. My poor Mr. Puskins, please forgive me, she begged. And of course Mr. Puskins did. But Little Whiskers asked Mr. Puskins to forgive her too. Hmm. He had to think about it. And then he thought about it some more. Hmm. And eventually Mr. Puskins did forgive Little Whiskers. Mm. 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 That feels better. Mr. Puskins didn't send the letter after all. He decided Little Whiskers could ah, stay right there next to him. This is the end of the story of a little girl called Emily and her dear cats, Mr. Puskins. Oh, don't forget me. And Little Whiskers. Dum diddly dum dum dee 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 dee. Sharing music moments, just us three. And now life is perfect. Boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed our story time. We're going to add little whiskers to our family. So when you come back to school, little whiskers will be part of our new buddies. I love and miss you all so much. I hope you're having a wonderful day. And join us again for Crusader Storytime.